Hello, beautiful souls. It's been a little while since I made a video, so I thought I would do one really quick. I'm about to head out um, to the ocean again. Well, I wasn't exactly at the ocean last week, but I was up in the San Juan Islands. Um, but actually, now today I'm headed to the ocean um, to where the Twilight movies were filmed. Uh, out to La Push, which is one of my uh, my favorite beaches. Um, it's so magical there. But anyway, that's not why I came on. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Um, just uh, getting ready to scoot out of here in a little bit. But I just had several things happen over the last couple of days with people. And what's interesting, you know, we have this Lionsgate energy that is active. Uh, it's not the height of the portal yet, but it's um, it's super change energy that's active, uh, providing clarity. Sometimes repre like for me, repressed memory, boop, pop back in again. Um, it's like whoa. So on offering is very deep healing if you accept it and not like push it away like in distraction like no I don't have time for this right now but what what's really been eye-opening and maybe it's just my st current state of consciousness <laughs> it's hard to tell is how many narratives people buy into and I understand because I used to be uh before I truly started to uncover and discover my own gifting I used to go see a lot of people for readings and now I don't now I don't see many people at all there's a few people that I trust um so what I'm discovering is there is so much distortion. Um, and, you know, it's one of these things where who you have reading you is super important. What, what You know, the clarity of their own channel. And like I was telling my, my son and his friends the other day, it also has to do with how many different filters they are seeing through. And when, when I say filters, that's like, you know, all of your different experiences um, that are unhealed and sometimes healed, um, create a different filter. So if you want to think of it like, you know, those super thin glasses that you used to put over glasses, like each one of those is like adding another layer of distortion. Um, and so I, I just have been surprised with the amount of people that are attached to a certain narrative about who they are. And it's interesting because the more, the more work, the, the more inner work I do, the more healing work I do, I realize that that narrative is not important. <laughs> I mean, I used to say, yeah, I had a lifetime as an Arturian. Yeah, I had a lifetime as this. Yeah, I was, I was this. I done this, blah, blah, blah. And now I'm at this point where, yeah, I am multidimensional. I am all of those things. But right now, right here, I'm human. And so that is what I'm focusing on for right now. That is what I'm here to do. And that's what I wanted to say. You know, just because somebody knows or was told that they are Palladian or Arturian or um, from the Vega, whatever, I'm just throwing stuff out, but no matter what, or that they've had a life as Cleopatra or, you know, all of this stuff. <sighs> that knowing doesn't necessarily help anyone in this physical reality right now, in the humanness. 
that we are experiencing and that we are hopefully trying to elevate the human experience. I mean, that's what I'm here to try to do. Um, so anyway, I just, you know, want to put that out there. Try not to attach to any labels. Try not to attach to any narrative beyond the idea that you are human right now for this moment for a short it, they it, they keep showing me like the blink of an eye <laughs> it's like so enjoy being here in this humanness now and stop trying to spend all of your time looking into your past or what if you want to call parallel realities into your other nows about who you are what you do in those other realities yes some information can bleed through which is amazing but this is what you're here to focus on your mission is to dive into yourself as a spiritual being wearing right a human body experiencing as a human for a short short time that's what everyone is here to do that is in a human body right now it's not all of these other external missions. And yes, there are some of us that are anchors. There are some of us that do grid work. There are some of us that have these other jobs. But primary, primary is to master your 3D reality. Not what you were in another lifetime. Not what is an alternative, whatever. It is right now right here your family relationships right how you decide to live and making that into alignment um job what do you want to do to make money in order to live unless you want there to be no money which like I was talking to my son today it would be interesting so there are all of these different things um that you can focus on that will help you move forward. And all of your past, and it's like I, I, I did a video a while ago talking about Starseed Origins because it, it was just coming in that it's really not that important. <laughs> Most of us have been lots of places. Right? Especially the older souls. We've been, you know, we've been around the block a time or two. And where we've been, none of that really matters except for where we are right now. What are we creating right now? Stop focusing on anything else. Stop distracting yourself with external stuff. Like... These twin flame missions or I, I don't even know. I mean, I'm just like, whoa. Anything to keep you from doing your own inner work, I guess. I mean, that's okay. I used to, I used to think that too. <laughs> I used to think I had a mission, I had a twin, da 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 da, da And then in the breaking open of myself, I realized no. That was all a distraction. The illusion, the illusion here, not only in the unconscious, if you want to call it, or asleep, you know, part of humanity, but also in the spiritual community, the illusion that people are just buying into because it feels good. Um, and not in a vibratory, you know, like in a way that it just feels like, it feels like comforting. Like it's comforting the ego. It's not like uh, because it like resonates as in your vibration. Um, but the amount of illusion in the spiritual community is off the chart right now. So that's why I've been pretty much staying off of social media. I post my deal and I... I um, check in a couple times a day and I, you know, comment if I feel like I need to or, or uh, post something. But for the most part, 
most of the videos that I've been seeing are not anything that I align with, really. So that's okay. I'm okay standing on my own. I'm not on my own. I got my peeps. But, um, yeah, it's just interesting to see what people are buying into, what people are latching onto. Uh, almost as a sense of security. And what is weird is that it's almost like there is this savior complex. Like people individually think that they're going to save the world. And I, I have to just say, or not just the world, save another, change another. That is victim consciousness. That is looping. That is looping in the old paradigm, actually, and it's sneaky. Because I think a lot of people that actually are doing that have no idea that they have fallen back into doing that. And it doesn't matter. It's fine. Go ahead. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, but I'm like, ooh, I, uh, I see this and it's like, okay. It happens to me sometimes too. It's all part of the learning process, right? We cannot change anyone outside of ourselves. We activate each other and we and we're a catalyst for each other, but the change work, oh, and that's the other thing. We help people heal, but they heal themselves. So careful with this. It's interesting to actually be a fractal of God consciousness, but you are a fractal and so is the person that you're working with. So it's like, it is unity consciousness, right? It is not that, you know, as a healer, I don't heal somebody. It's a, it's a collaboration because we are one. And, you know, people learn how to be a conduit for that energy. And that's really what, that's really what a healer does anyway. Anyway, there's that. Wanted to share that. Watch out what narrative you're paying attention to that you're giving your energy to, that you're buying into. Yeah, this is intense times with the Lionsgate and lots of things are coming up. Like I said, I had a repressed memory come up. I had remembered it before, but it's funny how those uh, sneaky little memories come in and then they go out. Mm, clearing. Yay. <laughs> anyway, I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And um, like I said, I'm headed out to the ocean. I'm hoping to do some videos from out there. We will see. Love you guys. Bye.